I'm about to shatter some illusions about the job market. I'm here to drop some truth bombs that'll make your corporate overlords squirm. We're gonna be diving deep into the world of the Google career certificates, and I'm not pulling any punches. Are these certificates your ticket to freedom in 2024 and 2025, or just another way for the tech giants to keep you on a digital leash? By the end of this video, you'll know whether to embrace these certs as your secret weapon or toss them into the trash with your old resume. The gloves are coming off, and I'm here to give you the unfiltered truth. So hang on and sit tight because this ride might get a little bumpy if you're still clinging to outdated career advice. Now, before we jump in, let me give you a quick backstory. I used to be a pharmacist drowning in student debt and feeling about as fulfilled as a vegan at a steakhouse. Fast forward a few years, and here I am living the remote work dream, making YouTube videos in my pajamas. So how's that for a career change? But all joking aside, let's get down to business. Let's talk about what the Google career certificates are and why you should care. Well, imagine if Google and a community college had a baby. That's basically what these certificates are. They're low cost online programs designed to get you job ready in various tech fields faster than you can say, hey Google, find me a job. Google offers certificates in fields like IT support, data analytics, project management, UX design, and digital marketing. And each one promises to turn you from a tech newbie to a job ready pro faster than you can binge watch a season of The Office. Now let's break down each certificate. First up, we've got the IT support certificate. And this is kind of like the Swiss army knife of tech jobs. You'll learn everything from troubleshooting to networking. And the job market for IT support is hotter than my laptop after running too many Chrome tabs. And the best part, you can do most of these jobs remotely. That's right, no more awkward water cooler conversations. And here's what others think about the certificate. This person says the Google cert's a great starter, but you'll need to add the A plus to your plate to really impress potential employers. For this person, taking the IT support certificate helped him land his first IT job. And when you look at Reddit, which by the way, if you didn't know, Reddit seems to be incredibly negative about just about anything, you find very few negative comments on it as well. The worst thing you're gonna hear people say is, yeah, you should probably get other certs as well on top of this cert. But you don't really hear things like you have to get a college degree in order to get into these jobs. So that's a pretty good sign. Next, we've got data analytics. And if you love numbers more than I love a good dad joke, this might be your jam. You'll learn to crunch numbers, create visualizations, and generally become the Sherlock Holmes of data. And the job market? Well, according to a recent study, 80% of organizations are likely to adopt big data analytics technology by 2027, making it a future-proof career choice. And here's what others are saying. This guy landed a job after completing the Google Cert, but he didn't stop there. He used the cert as a launch pad, applying what he learned to analyze open source data sets and build a portfolio showcasing his SQL, Tableau, and Python skills, proving he could think analytically in real world scenarios. And it all started with the Google Cert. For this person, the data analytics cert is a good starting point for beginners. And there's pretty much unlimited positive comments on my channel about this. And most of the comments you see on Reddit are also really good. Oh, and by the way, on Coursera's website itself, I think both of these certs are rated 4.9 out of five stars. And maybe they might go down to 4.8 every once in a while. And by the way, you can check these certs out in the description and the pinned comment below. Some of them you can actually audit for free, but the others are usually like four to $50 a month, and the first seven days are free. Project management is up next. This certificate teaches you how to herd cats. I mean, manage projects, and teams. And it's perfect for those of you who color code your sock drawer or have a love affair with spreadsheets. And let me tell you, remote project managers are in high demand. You can lead diverse teams, optimize workflows, and drive projects to successful completion without ever stepping inside an office. So let's check out what others think about getting the Google Project Management Certificate. Even as a seasoned project manager with five years under his belt, this guy found value in the course and he recommends really internalizing the concepts and saving your work, because you'll definitely run into similar stuff on the job, and it might introduce some new tricks to your workplace. Now, you might be thinking, this has to be too good to be true, right? $50 a month, and I could probably finish the certificate in like one month, what gives? Well, the reason Google partnered with Coursera is because you know the education system, like colleges and the job market, were not teaching people the skills that Google and other big companies needed. And that's why they decided to literally partner with Coursera and tell everybody, the skills that they wanted in the form of a certificate. And that's why you see comments like this guy who scored a PM gig at an electrical engineering company pretty quick after finishing the course. And while his decade of remodeling experience did the heavy lifting, he reckons the new project management lingo he picked up gave him a nice little edge. So in some cases, these certs may not be enough to land you a job on their own, but they're going to be a really good start. And if you have some previous experience or you build up your portfolio and you supplement it with other educational materials, it can really help you land a job. But is it better than other certs that are offered online? 
Well, we'll get into that later. But just to give you a little preview, I do think the project management cert on its own is very valuable, but I would highly recommend taking other more established project management certifications in order to have a higher chance of landing a job. This is of course, unless you're somebody who has like a ton of experience already. For instance, the PMI certifications, the Project Management Institute are pretty much the gold standard for certifications in project management at this particular moment in time. Next on the list is going to be UX design, or as I like to call it, making stuff pretty and fun. Functional. And this certificate teaches you how to design digital products that don't make users want to throw their devices out the window. Now the job market for UX designers is pretty good. And most of these jobs can be done remotely. With that being said, out of all the ones we've talked about on the list so far, it would definitely be the hardest to get a UX design job simply because a lot of people want to get paid to do art. So the supply and demand is a bit imbalanced, at least compared to the other jobs on the list. But let's look at how others are leveraging the certificate to land a job. Let's start with this guy's take. He says the Google search solid gold for newbies hacking in projects and networking perks. And this hiring pro doesn't sweat portfolios much, but he's all about real skills, teamwork chops, and sharp interview game. Plus he thinks Google UX cert can definitely level up your design lingo and show you're eager to learn. And another thing that a lot of these Google professional certs offer is access to a private job board where Google and 150 other companies hire people who get these certs. So that's another super valuable thing that you get with a lot of them. Next, let's talk about the digital marketing and e-commerce cert. If you've ever dreamed of turning your online shopping addiction into a career, well, this might be the right cert for you. It basically teaches you how to supercharge online businesses and navigate the wild world of digital marketing without breaking the bank or spending years in the classroom. And you'll learn SEO, social media marketing, and the whole shebang. So let's check out what others thought about the certificate. This guy, for instance, graduated with a mechanical engineering degree, but still got a ton of value from this cert. For this hiring manager in digital marketing, he sees Google certs as resume boosters, not job guarantees. He considers this the gold standard of certs, but pretty easy and not a huge deal in the grand scheme of things. And so, you know, like I said, definitely check them out below because you can see how each of them are reviewed on Coursera. But if you look at the reviews online for most of these, you're almost never going to find anything negative. And I think one of the main reasons for that is because they're like $40 a month. And a lot of these certs you can get done in a month. So it's like a cert for $40. <laughs> And so from a value perspective, it's an absolute no brainer to get these. I mean, you can even put them on your LinkedIn and then people can actually discover you by searching the cert. But with that being said, in many cases, the cert on its own, if you're you know, brand new, you don't have any work experience or anything like that, is probably not going to get you a job. You're gonna have to do other things. You're gonna have to learn more things. You're gonna have to build a portfolio and you're basically gonna have to prove that you have the skills that you say that you have. But for the value, these certs are an absolute no -brainer brainer. Purely from a value perspective, these are 10 out of 10. It's just not even a question. But these are not going to get everyone a job on their own. I mean, think about it. That would be kind of ridiculous. A $40 certificate, maybe $80 if it takes you two months, and you go into a job making fifty dollars to $100,000 a year right off the bat, that's a little bit far-fetched. But using these certificates, taking them seriously, using all the resources that they offer within the certificate, and then bolstering that with a really good portfolio is gonna give you a super good chance of landing a job. And so are the Google certificates worth it in 2024 and 2025? Without a doubt, yes. When it comes to a value perspective, there's nothing else on the job market that is as valuable as these certs for the money. Other certifications, for instance, oftentimes cost, you know, $1,000 or more. Boot camps oftentimes cost five to $30,000. College degrees cost anywhere from 50 to $300,000. And these certs aren't that far behind some of those other options. So they're absolutely worth it. But with that being said, let's talk about the pros and the cons. Because like that X you keep thinking about, Google career certificates have their good points and their, well, let's just say areas for improvement. So the pros here, they're cheaper than my morning coffee habit. Seriously, it's like a few weeks worth of lattes and you can have a shiny new certificate. You can also learn at your own pace. So if you're a night owl or an early bird or a permanent couch potato, doesn't matter. These skills you learn are actually useful in the real world, which is more than you can say about 95% of the things you learn in college. Some employers actually recognize these certificates and that's actually growing throughout the years. But now for the cons, they're not accredited like traditional degrees. So if you're dreaming of framing your certificate and hanging it next to your PhD, you might be a little disappointed. Not all employers recognize them. Some still want that fancy piece of paper from a traditional university. Some employers, unfortunately, are still stuck in the mud. And networking opportunities are about as plentiful as toilet paper was in 2020 which is to say not very plentiful. Plus some fields might be getting a bit crowded. 
I mentioned that with UX design, for instance, it is much harder to get into than it used to be. It's kind of like finding a seat on a packed subway, but with jobs. But with that being said, overall, like I said before, these are 10 out of 10. Still absolutely love them in 2025. I recommend them to a ton of people that I consult with. And it's just so easy to dip your toe in and try things out, right? I think that's probably the biggest value proposition of these certs is you get to kind of dip your toe in and try a bunch of different careers out. And they teach you things that you would actually be doing in the career, not like 95 to 99% of the things you learn in college. These certificates are purely functional, things that you would actually be doing in the career. So you get a really good idea of what you'd actually be doing on a day-to-day -day basis and whether or not that's something you want to do for a long period of time. And that's something that is super undervalued and pretty much nobody talks about that is incredibly valuable. And it's almost like getting a sample platter and just trying out a bunch of different foods to see which one you like. So highly recommend them. Check them out down in the description in the pinned comment below. There's also a ton of other ones. Um, so you can just look at Coursera's website and check them out there too. And if you're curious about what the best Google certs are, I did make a tier list video where I ranked them from S tier, which is the best to F tier, which is the worst. And you can check that out by clicking right here.